Hello, Harry Potter fans. Peter Kenneth here. Welcome back to the Potter Collector channel where we are a community of collectors. I have here something I've wanted for a long time and something that is a beautiful showpiece that you can have on your shelves or above your fireplace mantle. It's the Hogwarts Express die cast model by the Noble Collection. All right, let's take a look at the box. So the box shows the product itself and it comes on a train track stand that has a sign that says like the Hogwarts Express in front of it. Here it shows the actual Hogwarts Express and Harry going through the wall at King's Cross Station. And then on the bottom of the box is a kind of full size picture of the train that's inside. As I mentioned, this is made by the Noble Collection. We know that the Noble Collection makes some very high quality stuff and I can't wait to look at this train up close. The other thing about the Noble Collection that I love is that when you buy something from them, you know that it's going to be screen accurate because they have the license with Warner Brothers to make replicas of the items that we see in the movies. Wands, for example, but this, the train, ah, oh. And I love trains. Dun, dun, dun. It's very red. All right, let's look at the track first. Let's save the train for a second. Let's take a look at the track. It's on this. I think it might be wood. This wood base, and there are the train tracks. Bright silver rails, and then on the front is the sign, the Hogwarts Express, with the Hogwarts logo in the center. On the bottom it has the logo and trademark information. Beautiful stand, like, like already, look at this stand. Really nice. All right, but I wanna to get to this. Here is the Hogwarts Express. It's a metal die cast model. So it doesn't run, it's just for display, but the detail on this, oh. It looks, okay, when you look at the front of the train, it looks like the Hogwarts Express. I mean, duh, of course it looks like the Hogwarts Express, but it looks like a real train. Like, I mean, it could have been aged and weathered a little bit, but why not make a perfect, flawless Hogwarts Express? This is what I'm talking about. I mean, does this not, like, look like the Hogwarts Express? <laughs> I don't know how to describe what I'm feeling. It just, it looks like the real train. The wheels move, as do the, um, I don't know if these metal pieces are called that kind of move the wheels, but those move as well. They didn't have to add that detail. The front wheels also move. I love the gold detailing on here. The paint job is fantastic. Now this is an expensive replica or model. It's $100 from the Noble Collection or $99.95. And for something to be $99.95, it needs to be high quality. This is high quality. Even the bumpers on the front go inside and spring back. On the front, it has the numbers 5972 and the Hogwarts crest on the top right here. On the inside where the conductor would be running the train or driving the train, it has some detailing. They could have done more with that and kind of highlighted the inside parts, but I mean, you don't really look inside there anyway. There's a little latch and chain for connecting the coal car. Now the whole thing isn't metal, like there are some plastic pieces. This connector is plastic, the chain and the latch are also plastic, but the important parts are metal. But even if they are plastic, they're a higher quality plastic and they look like a model like something that you would purchase and build, this is going to look really good on top of the shelves. All right, let's put this on the track and take a look at the coal car. The coal car I almost feel like is heavier than the engine itself. And this may just be like a solid piece, but here we have the coal car and this is where it attaches to the engine itself. And these wheels also move. On the side, it says Hogwarts Railways. I mean, the coal looks great. That looks really good. And I'm loving the bright red color. I mean, we know the Hogwarts Express is bright red, but it's an accurate color for what we all know with the Hogwarts Express. These bumpers also go in and spring back. Even here, there's some coal spilling out. So what the conductor would do is they would take a shovel and take the coal from this section of the coal car. They wouldn't like climb up top and then put it into the furnace or boiler of the steam engine itself. All right, let's connect these two. So we're gonna slide this in, line up the holes. Ooh, this is gonna be really hard to do. Woo, that was hard. Okay, so if you purchase this, what I did was I slipped the little connector piece halfway into the engine latch and then kind of held it in place and slid the coal car latch into the 
engine latch and then kind of wiggled it around until the connector piece found the other hole and slid in on its own. If you get this yourself, you'll understand exactly what I said once you see it yourself. But there we go, they are connected. And look at that, what a beautiful piece. This is definitely a showpiece. On the ends of the track are bumpers, so you can't slide the train off the track. So if you have it on a shelf or something, the only way this is gonna fall off of the track is if there's an earthquake, but it won't slide off on its own, which is great. I love it. Unless you do that, then it will fall off the tracks. Please don't be broken. Wow, it survived the great tumble of the century. No pieces fell off, and I, well, I guess that's a testament to the quality of the piece. So we're gonna be a little more careful. <laughs> So be careful when you put it on your shelves, like hold the train in place. But here it is. Isn't that gorgeous? I know you're probably thinking like, Peter, are you really doing this again? Yes, I'm doing it again. I have to show you guys. It's beautiful. I cannot wait to display this. If you want to purchase this train for your collection, check the description down below for information on where to purchase it. What are your thoughts? Do you love it? Do you hate it? How can you hate it? I mean, it's the Hogwarts Express and it's a beautiful detailed model. But if you don't like it, I would like to know why you don't like it. If this video is something that you enjoy and you would like more content like this, noble collection reviews, or just really cool collectible single item reviews, let me know in the comments below if you would like me to continue on with a series like this. If you have any questions about Harry Potter, Harry Potter collecting, or anything else, please feel free to leave a comment down below. You can also join the Potter Collector community on Instagram at the Potter Collector or on Twitter at Potter Collector. Now it's time to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, keep collecting. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, welcome. You can subscribe right up here. You can also look at some previously posted content down here. If you have any questions about Harry Potter books or collecting, please feel free to contact me. I'm always happy to help. But for now, I must go. See you next time. Whoa, where'd he go?